All right, welcome back to this week's Reading Gem. This week, I, I want to share with you another lesson that you can do this week to help just keep reinforcing scripture study, your students' goals that they have, help them to rethink them, see if they want to make any adjustments, and also follow up on how they're doing so far. What has their goal done for them? What, what improvement or what... What blessings have they seen in their lives because of their goals? Thank you for all of your efforts to continually each week incorporate some things into your lessons and into your seminary classes that help your students continually develop a habit of daily personal scripture study. Now this week, lesson number 10 is the one that I, I wanna share with you. The link to this lesson is in the description below, so pay attention to that. So I'm not gonna go through everything here, but Basically, the readiness is invite students to describe some char characteristics of a friend. And so you want to start getting them thinking. There's a link here to a quick little video by Elder Scott. There's the quote here as well. I would suggest using, using the video if you can. I think it really helps uh, at times. But then here's, here's some discussion questions. And the idea on this one is, is we want to remind students that they can make best friends and become good friends with scriptures that then later in their lives when they need help and they need strength and they need things that those scriptures can come back to their heart and their mind and the Holy Ghost can bring them back to their remembrance and strengthen them and help them at different times just like a trusted friend and so I invite you to, to think how have the scriptures done that for you how have scriptures that you have really paid attention to get to know how have they become a friend to you in your life and then be ready to share that testimony with your with your students as well <clears throat> so i hope that you you take five to ten minutes to incorporate this lesson into your lessons this next week also every week every week if you're not doing so please start now help your students track in some way how they are doing with their goals and what they're getting out of them and just keeping it on their minds and a good way to do that is to give them a little sheet so i have some sheets here the link below is in the description as well but simply just give them this sheet at some time during the week sharing how are they doing on their required reading just a reminder hey we need to have good experiences with those but also Invite them this week again to, to rethink their goal. Do they want to make any adjustments? Is it the same goal? Write that goal out again. Remind yourself. Work on it this week. And then also the second question here is, how has, how has my goal made a difference this semester? Invite them to really think, how is their goal or how are their efforts really making a difference in their lives? Friends, I, I just testify to you, and I know that studying the scriptures is one of the best ways to invite the Holy Ghost into our lives, to guide us, direct us, bring peace, bring comfort, and, and bring anything else. I've been so blessed this month as, as I have been engrossed in the, the Book of Mormon each day as we are doing the March Madness Challenge has been such a blessing. Even listening to the Book of Mormon at a quick pace, it's been amazing to me to see the big picture and to see all the little principles and things that are coming to my heart and mind as I get to know the Book of Mormon and, and study those scriptures. And so again, please continue to, to love on your students, to encourage them and to inspire them and to testify to them of the blessing of scriptures in their life each and every week and to start that daily habit on their own. You all are amazing. Thank you for all that you do. We just appreciate you and love you and want to support you in every way that we can. Have a wonderful week and keep loving those scriptures.